<laughs> oh my goodness. Two actual roots on that. Wow. That's... Uh-oh. Lost a root. Down to one. Should be okay, right? Okay. decided to do this. This is the only one that has decent roots on it. That's ridiculous. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This week I have a couple of succulents that I want to get potted up and one that I want to see if I can help revive it. These leaves are all shriveled up. Um, I've had this one for a few years and it's overwintered in the house. My house gets really hot and dry in the winter, so I thought that it just needed more water. It's had plenty of good soaks, and its leaves still look like this, so I'm going to see if I can give it like some fertilizer to help, to help it do better. I'm kind of nervous about repotting these because I did just water this one. Um, I'm kind of nervous about repotting these because I used to have succulents like a long time ago, and I would repot them and then they would die pretty soon after that. So I've been afraid to repot my succulents and then I started doing house plants and I've repotted them and they've done just fine. So maybe I've gotten better about it, I don't know. So this is going to, going to be a documentation of whether I kill these succulents or not by repotting them. That one, this one looks pretty good actually. I'm really happy about that. All sorts of happy roots there. So that one's done. And then this one, oof, yeah. This one's pretty sad. <laughs> oh my goodness. Two decent roots on that. Two actual roots on that. Wow. That's... I mean, the rest of it looks happy, so I'm sure it'll be fine, but... We shall see. Okay. This one, when I had succulents before and I repotted them, um, this, was, this was one that actually survived, so... I have two there. I might separate them just to see how well they do. Ignore this bare spot right here. I had another plant fall and brush against and knock a bunch of leaves off and that that's why it looks super bare there. Okay. Well, that's something. Look at that. Yeah. I'm glad I decided to do this. This is the only one that has decent roots on it. That's ridiculous. All right. I need to cut this one, separate it, and then I'm going to put them in here. It doesn't have any drainage, but I will put rocks in the bottom just because I do want to keep this one without any holes in it. So I'm going to put some rocks in the bottom of that, and then I will pot these up. Oh, and I have these two here. I was given a plant that needed potted up and separated a bit, and um, it just kept dying, and parts of it would be fine, but other parts wouldn't, so this is what's left of it, and I'm hoping that I can save it this time. So. Lost a root. Down to one. Well, should be okay, right? <laughs> All right, I 
think that is going to look good. Now I need to plant them. I'm going to do this one first because I want to bury it up probably about to here since okay since um, you know what there might be an oven right there that might be trying to root right right up there so that's gonna actually work out better I mean that's what I want so that's why I'm bringing it up that high Pull some of that out. Since this one has such good roots, I want to give this one a bit more space when I'm planting it. All right, so I have them all in the soil. I'm about to add some water to it, but first I want to give sp some, actually probably all three of these specifically focused, give them some of the fertilizer mixture that I put together that has rice water, coffee, and Epsom salts. Um, rice water is really good for plants just in general, and Epsom salts are supposed to help Revive. I'm hoping that it will help this one's leaves plump up or help it do whatever it's supposed to. I don't know. I'm hoping it will help. That's why I put it together and the rice water is also supposed to, also supposed to be really good for plants to just, you know, plant food. That is so I'm going to, um, I'm going to give it a little bit now and not go too crazy. I'll probably do maybe about half of this. I'm gonna water it down first, so I'm not giving it straight, the straight fertilizer. And then um, I'll probably do, when I water it down, I'll probably do maybe a fourth of it, and then the rest I'll give it every two weeks or so, you know, depending on how it needs it. But um, right now, that's what that's getting. And then just regular water to help water everything in. Maybe I should do the water first. All right, so I decided to do the water first because I was thinking about it and this is dry enough that when the water hits it, it's going to mostly all sink to the bottom at first. So I want this really to be focused so they can actually get it right away rather than, you know, over time. Exactly. I mean, I want it to go over time, but I want it to get some immediately. And if I water it with this first, it's more likely going to happen later rather than right away. think that'll do. Hopefully everything will improve. I'm not going to dig anything up right away after a couple of weeks to see if the roots have improved, but hopefully everything will do great in there. 
All right, so it's the next day. I thought I was done filming, but I got to thinking the fertilizer I gave it doesn't specifically do anything for encouraging root growth. So since half, more than half of these need roots, I have some willow water right here. And willow water is really good at encouraging root growth. Um, and I've been, I've used it for other cuttings and things. So I've only done cuttings in willow water where it's like in a vase and you're encouraging the roots in water and not adding willow water to the soil to do that. So I'm wondering, is that going to change anything or is it just going to encourage the roots to grow in the soil? So I have a dropper here in the willow water and I'm gonna add some drops of willow water around the base of the plants and hopefully that will encourage roots to develop. I also have some philodendrons here that I have started um, and started air layering them. This is the first time I've ever done any air layering. So I'm wondering, the same sort of thing with the willow water, adding some willow water to the moss to hopefully encourage the roots to develop faster and maybe even stronger and see if the willow water will work that way or if it really just needs to have the fresh cutting put in the willow water to produce the roots. I think in theory it should work this way. I don't know. That is going to do it for this week's video. Like the video if you like the video. Subscribe if you want to see more. And I will see you next time.